be back again with another freaking banger video. Okay. But we back again with another freaking banger video. Ignore the bit. Y'all, I know y'all see that joke. But today I am going to... Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this, I guess, this hairstyle. Cause I made a video on my TikTok and it got over 100,000 views. So I figured why not make a video for it. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't even like it that much, but yeah. So I'm about to take this out. Okay, y'all, we're back. We had a little bit of technical difficulties. This is pre-stretched hair. I usually do a twist out and I'll just pick it out with the pit or I'll comb it out with a comb, wide tooth comb or metal pit. I have this topic, but it doesn't like, it just doesn't give the same effect as like this one. Like, you know, Ooh, let me not. <laughs> I'm not mess up those parted sections because my mother isn't here to part my hair. I I didn't need her to part it the other time I did. I just I have my, I had nails and you want to split your hair into two sections like this basically. You don't have to have long hair. I see a lot of like tutorials when they're just like they add hair. I mean I would do that but I don't know how. So I have four C hair. Um. For anyone who's wondering, and if y'all say no, you don't. I, that's how my hair looks when it's wet. So yeah, it's just stretched, stretched hair. You want to have your hair into two sections. Ignore the gym. You want to split those two sections into four sections. The two sections they don't have to be like it doesn't have to be neat, but you just still want to like have you know a good a good idea of like how much hair you work with. I have my front section and I have my back section. And usually with this hairstyle, I keep it in and then I'll just like reapply gel. So I'm not really like, you know, messing with it too much. I saw a lot of people in the comments, they were saying like the um, gel that I use is a better gel to use, but this is just the gel that I use. Um, I use Gorilla Snot, not Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Snot, Gorilla Snot, okay? The, the yellow kind. It's worked for me. It does, well, it, it hasn't flaked up for me, but I don't know if it would flake up because I've seen people in the, um, in the comments on TikTok, they was just like, it'll flake up, use more water base. But I usually put oil on top of it when I like put the gel on it and then I like slick it down at night. So I haven't really dealt with that. So I'm gonna get a comb. You could also have water. Okay. My little ghetto spray bottle with oil in here. So you can put water on it. So it's like not dry. That's what I'm gonna do. Spray a little bit of water. Cause all my 4C girls, you know, once that water touch your scalp, it's a race against time. Got some water on it. I'm gonna use a, a hard bristle brush. Ooh, not caught onto my piercings. And right now I'm just slicking it. Well, not slicking it. I'm just brushing it into like where I want it to be at. Whew. I don't regret taking this hairstyle out. You wanna get real snot? I don't put that much on there cause I don't really need that much, you know? I don't wanna like have it shrink or something. I just get a little bit of it. You could get more. This is just how much I prefer to use. And you just put it on your hair. And then get the rubber band. And then you wanna put it in a ponytail. I'm trying to get them as even as I can. So I'm gonna go like close to my ear a little bit. And then I saw some people that was just like, I used to do this, but this damages my hair. Once again, this is just my like, my way of doing it. You don't have to do it like this. This is just what works best for me. So then I just have a bad point right now. So now you wanna get this top section and you know, I'm gonna wet it up a little bit. I mostly wet like the top of it. I don't really wet the ends because I don't really need the ends like shrinking. So with the hard bristle brush, I'm just gonna brush it. Ooh, you really need like your arm strength with this one. That's how it looks. 
gonna put a little bit of gel in it. And yeah, when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit, cause <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it in the palm of my hands. Just gonna rub it on it. I told the one girl comment, she was just like, yeah, this is not really that slick. I can do another video. This child is slick for me, okay? Cause 4C, that's all I gotta say. Hopefully just burp in the top. Try not to like get the rubber band on top of the hair so that catches up into it because that will cause breakage. And this is this side. So, next side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Bottom ponytail is more for like positioning, like where the puff is even gonna be at. Don't do that. Do not pull your rubber bands out like that. That is a num that is a way to break your hair. Don't do that. But I was caught up <coughs> in physical attraction. I also saw a lot of people, they was like working other sections. I do know some people that like use like multiple sections and not just four, but four has worked for me so far, so. Yeah. Ooh, it's not looking good. Woo! Is that even? Oh no. Hold up, y'all. Got to fix it a little bit. That's the most even it's gonna get for this video. So what I usually do now is I take coconut oil and I put some of down on my hands because I don't want my hair to like flake. I put coconut oil on top of my hair under it and I like put it on like the ends of the hair. Now if your post ain't where you want them to be, then because I'm not about to like, I'm not doing this before I go to sleep, I'm not about to like wrap my hair up. What I usually do to like make my puffs bigger if I don't like the way that they look is I'll literally, this puff right here, I'll like take a section of it and I'll put water and gel on it. Well not water and gel, I just put water and oil on it and then I will just like, twist it up uh two straight twist my hair and then um the next morning i'll just take it out take the twist out i usually have like three big twists in each puff and then i'll just get my pick this baby right here this baby right here man take my pick and i'll pick it out to my liking and y'all if y'all notice that one puff is in front of the other i mean <laughs> If y'all want, if y'all notice that one puff is bigger than the other, mind your business. Okay. If somebody asks you, why your puff bigger than the other? Mind your business. Okay. Yeah, that's basically how I are these. I don't want them to look not even. Do my hair. Um, and now I'll just lay my edges. So to do my edges, I use. Style Factor Edge Booster for my 4C girls. Now I will say this right here, this will flake. For me, it flakes. Like if I have it on all day, it'll turn white, which is why you like see like a white, it looks white on my edges. That's why I'm putting like oil on them. I don't wanna put too much though, cause like when you put oil in like edge control, it doesn't work right. It's weird. And then I use this edge brush. You can get it at like a regular hair store. Don't mind how crusty it look, okay. So I just, one, two, I like that down there. Then I do that there, that here. I can like, I don't know how to do edges. This ain't no edge tutorial. Oh no, baby. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all ignore the edges. They just not, they not working today. My edges be having their days and today is just not the day, okay? Like they turn in white, like it's not. It's not giving. It's starting to frizz up a little bit. <laughs> so one thing that I will do, well at night, cause usually I do the style at night, I don't do it like midday, so. I use a lot of body oil. Yeah, to wrap me, the basically foam mousse. I use this and I like get a few pumps and I put it on my hair. And then when these are already twisted up, I'll just put on this scarf, wrap it around next morning. And my hair is usually like, it just stays down. That's basically my two, Attempting to 
attempting two slick buns on 4C hair hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Thank you for the people that's been like watching my videos and all that stuff, even though I've been like in my so yeah. I'll be back sooner than this time hopefully so yeah love y'all bye